I didn't know any better, I'd say you're making a habit of breaking things apart on this estate, Mr. Ellis. If I didn't know any better, Miss Cecilia, I'd say you're in the habit of distracting groundskeepers. Conversation up at the house gets tedious. There's only so much talk of fine table where one can stomach. Poor Mr. Worthington. All those visits your family grant him, your mother's kind enough to relieve him of his finest cakes, yet you prefer my company to his. He is an agreeable and pleasant man. He does not share your excellent wit. Mm, nor your credulousness. You seem to spend more time dirtying your shoes down here than up in the house. The summer breeze is a relief. I enjoy the flowers Mr. Worthington has chosen. The gardeners are a tolerable distraction. As you said. I can't. Ah, yes. Wouldn't want to ruin that pretty dress with a spot of green. Your knowledge of women's fashion and its physical constraints is limited. My knowledge of women's fashion is a little less limited than you might think. Your ignorance is surprising. Your ignorance of women is unsurprising. Well, have you know, I had quite the reputation prior to your arrival. What? For arrogance? You must know my prospects are greatly improved with this match. You speak with such humour. I never thought you'd like to be pleased from time to time. Being pleased has nothing to do with it. My mother would not be pleased if she left another marriage season with a single daughter. You are incorrigible. I am not such a creature that could marry without affection. My father is old and my mother is sick. I am not such a creature that would live selfishly by marrying for love. You think me selfish? I think you naive. Mr. Ellis, I may have little power. That I am acutely aware of. But I will let nothing take away the little I do own. My family will be provided for. I will make it certain. You are blind to it. There is no justice. You think I don't know injustice? I was Mr. Worthington's favourite nephew. His son was jealous of his cousin's undeserved status. He was gracious enough to gift me with a respectable job when he inherited the house and thus threw me from it. Oh, you must have heard the rumours. I did not know. Do you see me differently now that you know I was raised in your world? Is there anything more? Or am I relieved of my duty as distraction? There is nothing more.